G'day and welcome back YouTube. Um, today's video, obviously, we are going to be manually installing Vivid Weather's Definitive Edition. I had a request for this mod as well as to sort of explain what ENBs are and all that sort of stuff. So, um, yeah, let's start with that. ENBs, they're pretty much just something that, um, unlocks well my best way of describing it my knowledge of it is they're pretty much something that unlocks the potential that the that the um skyrim graphics engine has uh amb an amb is um usually a separate mod i guess you could say that goes into it whereas you've got other mods which are i guess technically amb's like this one vivid weathers that don't need the amb to work they do the same thing to a point, but they don't need the EMB to work. But an ENB definitely makes them look better. Um, but yeah, so in a lot of cases, an actual the actual ENB mod is optional if you want to say do something like this. So in this video, I'll show you how to manually install Vivid Weathers. So first up, as usual, navigate to the mod read the description and all that manually download if you're going to do it manually or download via nexus uh, yeah with a mod manager if you're going to do it with a mod manager and um yeah to do it with a mod manager it's pretty simple you just go into your vortex or nexus if you're using that it'll download there you highlight it and you click install it'll it has a nice little foam mod there so a little installer um and comes with patches and stuff like that if you're using particular mods with it. In this video I'm going to show you how to do it manually so let's get into it. So we go to where we've downloaded it. I've already unzipped the folder which is right here to save time. Again if you don't know how to do any of this go back watch some of my earlier vids I explain how to do all this and then let's go into vivid weathers. Okay you'll be greeted with this. This can be a bit confusing but this sort of set up for the um oh this sort of set up for the faux mod i guess so you want your core files which will be these here if you're interested there's a credit list where the mod author gives credit and a manual install which is helpful if you know what you're doing if not it's not that helpful but just like him i recommend using a mod manager to install this so what we're going to do is we're going to go into data and we're going to copy these files into date the data folder yep there they are three files there so that's the core mod next we're going to do our patches now i'm not actually using any of these so I don't need any of these patches uh, to install them. Just pick whichever one you need and drop it in here as well. Seasons. So whether we want summery or wintery, I'm going to go with summer. We're going to drop that in here. Sorry, as well as we're working in our data folder right now. So essentially everything from the core goes into the data folder and you pick one of these to go into the data folder and now we're on to our textures for our trees our terrain and stuff like that don't know if that'll load up yep so that'll be the new textures for the trees when we put them in and now to put these in you would have seen when i went into it oh by the way uh, let's go back to here. You can only select one of these. Okay, that's the vanilla trees, and it's there to sort of set up a bit more to help them pop in a bit better in the background. Uh, these are trees done by another mod author. I'm actually going to go with this. So when you go into it, you'll see textures. So we want to find our textures folder, which is right there. And then terrain and drop that into there don't worry if you don't have terrain or skies just grab that drop it in that's what you want you want a terrain folder and you want a sky folder 
If it's not there, you can create it or just highlight that whole folder, drop it in and it will create the folder for you. So we've got our textures for our trees. Now, do we want the night skies? I think we do. So again, textures, that's going to be under skies. Copy to textures. There we go. We're going to go back. Do we want extra snow, extra rain? Personally, I don't. If you do want this stuff, then they go in the data folder, just like the summer did or the winter, whichever one you pick. And with that, you're done. That's it. Now, um, okay, final thoughts and all that. Yeah, the mod does what it says it's going to do. Easy enough to install, not as easy as some, like um, Orion Nebula, which is just one folder, but that just changes the night skies. Uh, Vivid Weathers changes the weathers, which i got to admit the fog was nice. Uh, didn't really do much for the night sky, even though it did have a like, night sky option in there. Uh, that one, textures for the night sky. Um, it did brighten up the belt a bit, I found, compared to the vanilla. But, um, yeah, I don't know. It's a, it's a good mod. I'm not going to say don't download it or do download it because I only tested it for, like, five minutes. But, um, yeah, no, all in all, it's a pretty good mod. So, um, yeah, just... On that note, we'll uh, end the video and yeah, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Don't forget to comment. And uh, until next time, have fun modding your game however you want to mod it with whatever you want to mod it with.